Hi, this video is going to be a quick tutorial using Reason with the Band in a Box DAW plugin. As you can see, I've got the plugin open here and I'm using Reason. It works with pretty much all Windows DAWs so long as they accept VST plugins. And so you can see I've typed in some chords here and I picked this style and then I just generated all the music you're hearing it comes from this plugin. So I'm just going to hit stop and if you want to use it in your Reason project you're already working on, you can just drag in like say you just wanted the drums. You can do that but instead I want all of the instruments so I'm just going to drag this blue master track and that's going to put them all on separate tracks within Reason. And these are all audio files, all these green kind of uh, squares mean they're audio and these yellow ones actually mean there's MIDI available. So I'm just going to close this now and let's just take a listen in Reason. And of course now you can do whatever you want. You could pan these guitars. If you didn't want the drums, you could mute those. And I also mentioned to open the plugin, by the way, just click there and I'll, I'll show you from scratch in just a sec, but I just want to show you uh, like any of these with yellow means there's MIDI available. So if you want to use some MIDI sounds that you have in Reason, for example, you could just drag in the bass and I'll close this again. And so now it created a synth bass for us from this MIDI data. So let's let me mute this bass, the real bass player, and we can listen to this. Could change the patch. Get a synth bass. So there's a lot of, you know, flexibility you can do with this plugin. You can either generate real tracks or generate MIDI tracks to use with your Reason project. So I'm just going to start from scratch. I'm going to go File New. So this is a new project. And I guess I'm assuming you already have Reason installed. And I'm also hoping that you have Banner Box 2019 for Windows installed because you need that. Uh, if you want to use the plugin because that's how it is included. Uh, so if it is installed you should have a BB folder on your C drive here and then a BB plugin folder and then there should be files and here, here are a bunch of kind of different um, DLLs for the plugin and by default when you run the installer everything should be taken care of so you don't have to worry about any of this stuff but if we go into Reasons Preferences and go at Advanced, we can see uh, it's looking for VSTs in these folders. So like I said, by default, uh, there already should be, um, we install it to this folder, but just in case, uh, you might want to check this location and make sure there it is. So I've already done that, so that means if you go to your instruments and you scroll all the way down, here it is, the Band in a Box DAW VST plugin. So you can just drag that over there and then to open it in Reason you just click on this and then here it is. So you can drag it around, you can resize it, do whatever you want with it. So uh, it kind of just works like Band in a Box, you can type in some chords uh, like so and then you can uh, select an, a whole style or just an individual real track or MIDI tracks also loops and other things like that for now I'll just open the style picker you can also just click this big button to open it so this is gonna open the band in a box style picker which kinda has like complete bands and just to get a feel for them, I'm just going to scroll through randomly and uh, sample some. So you can tell we have a bunch of 
varieties of styles. You can also, you know, there's tons of styles, over 6,000. You can just type in a filter, like I'll type in ballad. You can also do things like sort by tempo. And then if you're looking for a specific tempo, you can find songs like that. So maybe I like the sound of this one. So to select it, you just hit OK. And so now you see that all of these instruments have been loaded. Uh, and now you just have to finish typing in some chords. So I'll do that now. And also setting the tempo is a good idea. So maybe I'll set the tempo to 81 beats per minute just for fun. Uh, and I'll just type in some chords. I'm just making these up. And you can also... Uh, if by clicking on uh, the bar number, you can create part markers, which kind of shape your song. Uh, I really don't know what I'm doing, but we'll see how this sounds. And I'll just finish it there. Uh, so to end your bar, you just want to type in an ending bar. So I'll say bar 16. And I guess I'll just generate this now. So if you want, you can, of course, generate, like right-click, generate an individual track if you're just wanting the bass part of this style. But I'm just going to hit the big generate button, and that's going to generate all of these tracks separately. Okay, and now it's finished generating. I can tell because these green squares are filled in. And remember, we set the tempo as 81, so I'm just going to change that in my Reason project here. And now I'll just drag in this blue master track, which drops them all on separate tracks. And then we'll take a listen. So I'll close this, and let's see how it sounds. So this sounds fantastic. And let's say maybe we want a guitar solo at bar 11. I'm going to open the plugin and do something cool. It's called uh, multi riff. So uh, to select that, we're going to go select. And instead of doing a real track, I want to do try something called a multi riff. And what this is, it's going give to give us seven different takes of the same instrument playing. So I'm going to filter this list there are thousands to choose from but i'm going to type in guitar solo and uh, let's see let's sort by tempo and our song was at 81 and it's even so i'm just going to look see if there's um any ones that look good to me there is Metal soloist, blues soloist, country ballad simple, work in Brent. Maybe I'll try this country ballad Brent simple. That sounds nice. It was recorded at 85. Let's try that. And then I maybe I just want it over these four bars so I'm going to highlight those four bars and instead of hitting generate that would regenerate everything and you see it's created seven of these I'm just going to go custom generate riffs of selected region so what this is going to do it's it's generating them right now it's going to generate seven completely unique takes of this guitar soloist just over these four bars so that should be pretty cool. And then we can just drag all of them with this blue box again. And then 
because Band in a Box starts at bar one and uh, it actually is a two bar lead in and multi riffs also start a bar early so they can do pick up notes. So that means we're going to drag this to bar 10 of our reason project. So let me move this out of the way. And so, okay, we're going to drag it to bar 10. So I'll just wait till this is done. Okay, it's finished. So let's, let's see where bar 10 is. There's bar 10. So I'm going to drag this blue and I'm going to put it right there. Oh, whoops. Maybe, maybe I don't want to put it right there. I'm going to undo that. And I want it on a new, new track. Maybe I'll put it here. And then maybe I'll just drag them all to bar 10. So I'll close this. Yeah, let's zoom out. And let's drag them, there we go, bar 10. I'll zoom in. Maybe I don't want to zoom in that much. Okay. So now rather than having them all play at the same time and blowing my face off, I'm going to mute a bunch of them. I want to commute them here. Okay. So let's listen to this now. Let me give you some context. I'll play it a bit before. that was the first one let's take a listen to this one I like that one that's in the lead so far let's take a listen to this one Oh, whoops, I'm getting confused which one I have playing. I think this will work. Why am I not hearing this? There we go, sorry about that. Okay, I think I figured out how Reason does its muting now. Uh, okay, that one was really cool. Let's listen to this one. Cool, now this one. Yeah, so as you can see, it's very useful if you want to use bits and pieces of of each. I think my favorite one was the second one, so let's listen to that again. Oh, and let me unmute it there as well. Yeah, well, so that was a quick tutorial, an overview of the Band in a Box DAW plugin used with Reason. I hope you found it useful. Thank you.